Well, hi. So my story, the story that really comes from my heart has to do a lot with self-worth and just my journey finding that self-worth. I was raised in the Catholic Church and my parents actually came here from Portugal. So they were um, very much uh, very involved in the Catholic Church. Catholicism was or is a lot about religion and it really instilled in me this feeling of having to be worthy enough to receive God's love, to receive any kind of relationship with Jesus. And for a young child, that's very confusing. And what compounded that was my mom. We've always had a very tumultuous relationship, her and I. She didn't really know how to be a mom. There wasn't any nurturing, any love. Everything was surrounded with guilt. So then I idolized my dad. And a few years ago, my dad had a stroke. So to this day, he's not able to talk or to walk. So my whole world came crumbling down. And even though I knew Jesus from a very young age, he was always this distant figure, this authoritarian who I didn't know was my friend. And just by chance, I ran into a friend at the community pool. And I know now it was by no means a chance encounter. Sandy Edmonds, she invited me to her church. And that's what led me through the doors of Village Church. And sitting down, listening to Ashley and Cody's sermons about this God who loves you, who you are worthy to be in his presence always and um, no matter what can um, break that relationship. That was just mind-boggling to me. I had been raised with religion. Everything was a ritual, was a tradition, and if you didn't meet certain criteria, you were not worthy to take communion. You were not worthy to do certain things in the church. And now I was listening to Pastor Cody and Pastor Ashley telling me that God was within my reach. So I started learning more about Jesus and that just totally changed my life. He is my friend, he is my mentor, and I am so worthy of his love. And I just implore everybody to surrender. I do that every day. I start my day with this just complete surrender. Your will, God, not mine. And know that even when I mess up, I am still worthy of his love. And instead of idolizing my worldly father, I have my heavenly father and he loves me no matter what. So when my dad had his stroke, I didn't know who I was. I didn't know who I belonged to. And I remember my husband's aunt being over once and telling me that I was just surrounded by this dark aura and it was like a light bulb came on that, wait a minute, I am not surrounded by darkness. I want to be part of the light. And it was just my heart had just filled up with this joy and this peace and this love in the midst of what I felt like my whole world was just crumbling around me. And there is nobody else who can fill your heart with those things that even though you're surrounded by chaos, you're filled with this peace. And it's only through the Holy Spirit that that can happen. And that was really the epiphany for me. My self-worth doesn't matter what's going on around me. I have to look within myself. I have to welcome, invite the Holy Spirit into my life, into my mind and into my heart. And it was just so moving, even though she didn't quite know what was going on in my life, she just knew that it was something very dark. And I thank her for that because it really turned on that light bulb for me. And I would just say to anybody who is struggling with anything, especially now, just the messiness of life right now, where there's just a lot of anxiousness to surrender yourself and invite Jesus into your life. Um, ask for forgiveness. You know, dear Lord, forgive me for my sins. Help me. I surrender to you, your will, not mine. And it's so simple. It is literally as simple as that. That's how simple 
simple it was for me and it can be just as simple for you. Just invite them in and you have to be willing. You cannot take control of the reins. You have to just surrender and where he leads, you have to be willing to follow. I look at others through this lens of love and compassion and that everyone is worthy of God's love. And I need to remember that always, that God loves everyone. And through that lens of love and compassion is what guides me every day. With Jesus, I have found my self-worth. I have found that I am worthy. I am a princess of our Heavenly Father. So that's just my story with Christ, knowing that my self-worth is not tied to the circumstances that I'm surrounded by or that I'm in. My self-worth is directly tied to my Heavenly Father.